Consumer prices noted a substantial slowdown in September, which recorded the lowest in well over three years. But the prices of vegetables saw a sharp rise. Yi Sujin covers this latest finding. Inflation in South Korea slowed to the lowest level in more than three and a half years during September. Data released by Statistics Korea on Wednesday showed that the country's consumer price index, a key gauge of inflation, rose 1.6 percent compared to the same month the previous year. This is the smallest rise seen since the 1.4 percent recorded in February 2021, and it's also the first time since March 2021 that the index has been below 2 percent. And this year, the increase in consumer prices first fell below the 3 percent level in April, and while there was still an uptick in July, it fell to 2 percent in August. The slowing of inflation last month was mainly driven by prices of petroleum products dropping 7.6 percent on year, falling for the first time since February. But with global crude oil prices surging more than 2 percent on Tuesday local time in the aftermath of Iran firing ballistic missiles at Israel in response to Israel targeting Iran's allies, petroleum product prices may once again become unstable. Based on the current inflation trends, agricultural products, particularly vegetables, are affected by weather conditions. Petroleum products, which are heavily influenced by international oil prices, may also fluctuate. Prices of agricultural livestock and fisheries products were up 2.3 percent in September compared to the year before, with vegetables in particular seeing a sharp rise, jumping 11.5 percent on year and 18.6 percent on month. The on-month increase for vegetables was the largest seen since August 2020. Amid the prolonged heat wave, prices of Napa cabbages were up more than 50 percent and radishes around 40 percent. Both are key ingredients of kimchi, one of the most important staples of Korean cuisine. The core CPI, which excludes volatile food and energy prices, dropped 2 percent on year and 0.2 percent on month in September. With inflation cooling to the 1 percent range in September, it is further setting the stage for an interest rate cut in the next policy meeting scheduled for October 11th. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.